How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be ranking all 10 NHL draft MSPs. So make sure you guys do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and we're gonna go from 10 to one. Starting off with number 10, we got Rick DiPietro, a six foot one, 210 pound goaltender here. I, I just hate to do it. Goalies are just too, too tough to really rank high, especially ones that are 6'1". I mean, 6'1", 210 is just simply not good enough here. Uh, he's got cyber forward, grinding forward, and forcer forward, and then defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, and shooting boost, along with speed boost. As I've mentioned before, guys, plenty of times, synergies don't actually impact goalie stats, but they obviously can help your team out. He does have abilities of showstopper, post-to-post, -post, butterfly effect, no timer and gold light work. So that's the one positive. His abilities are quite good. So that's that's the one I guess thing that you like to see from him. But in general, uh Rick Di Pietro is not a card that I'm like, you know, go out and get him and make him right away. I just I just don't see the the real reason to do that. I mean he's it's not bad, but obviously the height is something that's gonna really severely hold him back. Then we got Ryan Nugent Hopkins here. You know, Nugent Hopkins. Just kind of a, you know, decent size center. Nothing spectacular about him, but he's six foot, 195, left-handed centerman. Synergies of sniper forward, two-way forward, playmaking forward, defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, and shooting boost here. And he's also got accelerator boost, giving him 98 acceleration, though. So that's always nice. I know people will be like, oh, well, you know, it's not 98 speed. Well, acceleration is still really important as well. Uh, but... 93 face-offs could obviously bump that up to 99 if you do activate two-way forward and defensive boost, which I definitely would recommend. I think that's more important uh, than getting a shot maxed out uh, for if you're going to play him at center at least. Uh, he's got ankle breaker, elite edges, close quarters, beauty backhand, and gold tape to tape here. So, Nugent Hopkins definitely does check a lot of boxes here. Uh, would I say he's, you know, absolutely the best center to get right now? No. Um, but honestly, if you're an Oilers fan, obviously, it definitely makes a lot more sense to get him. Uh, if he's looking for a center that desperately, then maybe. But I still would really lean towards not getting Ryan Nugent Hopkins, guys. But for me, he's number nine on the list. Number eight, we got Uri Slavkoski here. So what I really like about Slavkoski right away is his size. I mean, 6'3", 238 pounds. He's a big boy. Left-handed winger, though, is what I got to keep that in mind. He's not a centerman. So if you're looking for a center, Slavkoski will definitely not be the one for you. You. His synergy options are sniper forward, playmaking forward, power forward, and then he's also got checking boost, agile dangler boost, shooting boost, and playmaking boost. His last energy is defensive boost there as well. Uh, it, it's another car where, you know, this card unfortunately doesn't have like an accelerator or a speed boost, right? Which is, that's the only down thing I would say about this card. Because if he did, I think Slavkoski would be put a little bit higher for me. His abilities are 1T, close quarters, big tipper, unstoppable force, and goal total eclipse. I also really don't like goal total eclipse, if I'm being honest. I just feel like it's not the greatest gold ability. I just feel like there are better options at least but uh for me Slavkoski guys i mean i would say if you're looking for that big winger he definitely can provide that for you guys but other than that you know i, I would say close quarters and and probably unstoppable force is decent to activate maybe big tipper but that's really all i would say for Slavkoski. number seven an msp chris phillips i never thought i'd see the day six foot three 220 pound left-handed defenseman here and you know what? I do like him. I do. He's he, To me, he's a good card. You know, if you need a lefty, he absolutely can be the one for you. Uh, but I think there are still better lefties, you know, ranked in this. So, I mean, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, he's got offensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, and defensive defenseman. He's also got checking boost, agile dangler boost, shooting boost, playmaking boost, and defensive boost. So, defensive boost. Uh, really doesn't help too much outside of his agility. So, I mean, agility can definitely matter, though. So, I would, I guess, slam it on if you can. Might as well, right? Doesn't doesn't really do much. You have no other option, right? Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's got unreal stats. 99 body checking, 99 defensive awareness, 99 stick checking. I mean, all the defensive stats that you like to see are there. He's got great abilities, too. He's got stick him. No, he's got quick pick, sorry. Seeing eye, tape the tape. Elite edges is actually pretty decent, too, of course. 
and then gold shut down. If you can't activate, you know, all the abilities like, you know, shut down and quick pick and elite edges, I don't know how you wouldn't be able to. I mean, the, the ability limit's 105 right now, which is probably the highest I can ever remember it being. But uh, I think Chris Phillips for sure, uh, absolutely, if you need a lefty, is pretty decent. But, you know, obviously there's another one that I'm going to say is probably better on this list. But gold shut down is still very, very good to have on him. Number six, we got Alexis Lafreniere. So he's 6'1", 194, left-handed winger here as well. Not a center, unfortunately. But he's got sniper forward, power forward, playmaking forward, along with checking boost, agile or dangler boost, shooting boost, and defensive boost. Does have speed boost as well, giving him 98 speed. That is incredible as well. 96XL is solid, but the 98 speed is outstanding as well on this card. Obviously, you can get a shot maxed out with the shooting boost synergy there. His abilities are make it snappy, puck on a string, truculent, shock and awe, and gold unsolvable force. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of uh, a lot of good abilities here, especially gold unsolvable force. That's uh, definitely one that I would uh, absolutely consider, guys, uh, if you're going to have this card, because unsolvable force is always pretty solid. So, definitely consider unsolvable force if you're making this laugh card. One of my predictions came true. Eric Johnson at 6'4", 225 pounds. He's got offensive defenseman, defensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, and he's got defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, and accelerator boost. So 98 acceleration and 96 speed on him. Silver shutdown, truculent, quick pick, elite edges, and gold heat seeker are the abilities that you can use on Johnson. Definitely would activate quick pick, elite, elite, elite edges, sorry, and shutdown. Maybe Truculence, you really want to go all out for this Eric Johnson card, but uh, I think Johnson definitely will play well in game. He had an MSP last year, and I do remember actually having him, and he was very good as well. So, uh, again, all the stats, you want to be 99 or 99, I and mean, we're almost there. I mean, all the MSPs are probably going to be 99 next event, you'd assume. So, we're almost there, but Eric Johnson comes in at number five for me. At number four, Aaron Ekblad, 6'4", 215, right-handed defenseman. Got two-way defenseman, offensive defenseman, and defensive defenseman. Then defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost, and accelerator boost, giving him 98 acceleration. He's got heat seeker, thunderclap, tape the tape, quick pick. And best of all, gold shutdown, guys. So definitely gold shutdown is the one you want to activate on Ekblad, hands down. No other abilities are going to really be as impactful on this card. So uh, definitely Ekblad would be an amazing right D that you guys can pick up. Uh, I really see him as one of the best ones from this list, no doubt. And obviously, before we get to the 299s, we know it's Rasmus Dahlin, 6'3", 202. I really like Dahlin's cards. I mean, he plays even bigger than 6'3", I feel at least. He's got offensive defenseman, defensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, playmaking boost, accelerator boost, shooting boost, and a defensive boost. So you can get up to 98 acceleration and 98 speed with the speed boost synergy being active so i think that's absolutely incredible making this card just absolutely the best 97 out there for me i just really seem the bat being the best he's got seeing eye one t elite edges shut down and gold heat seeker i don't love gold heat seeker but his stats do make up for it all plus he's got gold so plus he's got silver shut down i would say any elite edges is, is really the the ones that really make this card outstanding. So for me, that's uh, number three. And now to the 99s. Two is Nathan McKinnon. So I got to put McKinnon behind McDavid. I'm sorry. McDavid always does just play better than McKinnon, but still a great card. Obviously, these cards are really good if you don't have McKinnon or McDavid team of the year, the team of the season. But uh, he has four to each synergy, which is nice. Sniper forward, power forward, playmaking forward, checking boost, agile dangler boost, accelerator boost speed boost and then defensive boost playmaking boost and shooting boost 99 every single stat he's got wheels elite edges one t puck on a string unstoppable force and gold make it snappy definitely would activate unstoppable force elite edges uh probably not wheels i don't think it's really necessary with all the speed but and gold make it snappy i definitely would activate those as well 99 face-offs everything is 99 about this mckinnon card and we got 99 overall connor mcdavid 6-1 193 left-handed centerman 48 synergy sniper forward power forward playmaking forward defensive boost playmaking boost agile dangler boost shooting boost and then checking boost accelerator boost and speed boost again all these synergies they don't really matter, obviously. I mean, he's 99 every stat. It can matter for the other cards on your team. That's kind of the main thing, right? He's got wheels, elite edges, all alone. It's a funny ability. You don't really see that too often. 
unstoppable force, born leader, and goal make it snappy. So for the same as McKinnon, but uh, definitely same thing. Unstoppable force, elite edges, I think is definitely worth activating. Maybe born leader too, but, uh, and also a really good thing about these cards is it's got 99 endurance, right? The team of the year doesn't have 99 endurance. So uh, for me, that's the rankings, guys. Let me know where you agree. Who have you made from this event? I'm curious on that one as well. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. On Twitch, Henrik, I'm live there every single day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.